popping. <laughs> for her. <laughs> for her. <laughs> I think Max is actually like his alter ego. <laughs> like every now and then he'll just enter as like, all right, you know what? I want a different Pop name today. I'm, I'm British puppy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So game number one, grand finals on PS2. Yeah, Goblin coming in from the loser side with a lot of momentum here, but Goblin uh, definitely has a lot of momentum, like I said. The one thing that Puppy has, though, is uh, pretty much two, uh, two sets to work with if he, if he still chooses to. Air jab, side B, not going to be enough. Just setting up for another ledge trap right here. Goblin doing that all night. I mean, that's like where Roy really excels. He does have combos, but his combos can be pretty hit or miss. Ooh. Yeah, well, there's one combo that is not a miss, though, and that is jab to back air, yeah. taking the first stock for Goblin right here. But yeah, as I was saying, like, a lot of these combos, when the, uh, you connect the sour hit, you can still combo off of them, but it, it doesn't really do too much for you, you to uh, KO off of Falling up air, I'm talking, telling you guys, the one thing that Goblin is coming here with a lot of momentum, bar bear. Two stocks, no, no, no answers for Pope. Oh my lord, yep. dude. He really thought he was going to beat out that forward smash. Well, Pope was like, I'm going to hold I'm gonna hold longer. Yeah. <laughs> Not only holding longer, but the spacing there, too, because Char is, I'm sorry, Ivasaur does actually kind of wind himself back and yeah. just stick out a little bit with it. Yeah. But I mean, that, like, like get up and tap goes, like, nowhere. Like, it was going to oh, be yeah. nowhere near that, you know what I mean? Like, he had to wait for the forward smash to come out first to get that. But I don't even know. It's just not, not even worth it. I guess it, I'll take it back because if he had just sat on the on the ledge anyways, he would have got caught. Like, yeah. Nice jab back here right here. Okay. Back here. Ooh, finding a second one. Probably applying so much pressure on this platform too. It's perfectly spaced aerials. Applying uh, tons of pressure to the shield as well. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna switch oh, back to the yeah, charge. Yeah. He'll make it back. But he got a little antsy, rolled up onto the ledge, and again, Goblin just over and over again. It, it's it's hard, dude, because, you know, for the most part, he's spacing himself to get that punish at the ledge a lot of the time. Yeah, going But, but you can track. also bait, bait out the roll, right? Because even if you are a little bit more towards the ledge, you get very easily dash back, F tilt. Like, yeah. yeah. It works just as well. <laughs> like it's yeah, and it yeah, kills yeah, very yeah. early. <laughs> it works both ways. Yeah, I just wish everybody would stop all getting up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's hard because it's like sometimes that's the option you need. You know? Yeah. Dude. Also, the spacing from Goblin too. Like you have to really, like you said, right? You have to take into consideration. He can easily just as adapt and stuff too. And, and there's a reason why he's getting it so often, right? It's not just because everyone is. You know, it's everyone's not just dumb and they're like roll, roll, get up. They're it's Goblin's conditioning for that, right? Yeah, he's baiting it out. He makes you feel to be scared of the ledge. When in reality, you should be scared of trying to come back. Okay, Puppy, answering back quickly right here. Only a battlefield for game number two. Ooh. All right, very smart. Jumping out of that potentially very early kill setup by the ledge. The, uh, what was that, jab to side B? Uh, okay. Having a tough time trying to land here. Back air? No. Just go for forward air. Yeah, it was, it was a very tight window right there. He got the forward air instead. Still. Continuing to rack up this percent. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't just up B. I mean, Charizard is pretty, pretty heavy. Probably would have survived. Another down tilt. Punish oh. on a shield. There it is. Yep. With the up air. And that's going to be the first stock for Puppe. Or for Goblin, sorry. Taking it away from Puppe. Okay, finally gets a grab right here. But here's the thing with Squirtle, right? You're not really gonna get a kill off of a grab. So at this percent, you gotta wonder why Puppe is choosing to stick to Squirtle. Right. Charging up his water gun. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Dodge cancel one more time hey, and he missed it. <laughs> Spot dodge wars. 
he's sticking to the Squirtle right yeah. here. What, up throw? Back he throw. doesn't have a kill throw. Oh my god, it's back throw. <laughs> at, 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 at that percent, man, something throw. has to give. Something's got to give. <laughs> Nice. All right. Well, we'll take it for sure. He gets grabbed right here, punishing the get-up attack. That's big damage for Puppy. Putting him back on the ledge. And yeah, this is where where he wants to be. As long as Puppy can be on the inside of the stage, he gets everything he wants. Right? He can set up for a ledge trap, potential two frames with Ivysaur, the platform extensions with Squirtle on the yeah. platforms. Like, it's great. He's still living. Trailing in percent, but not by much. Far throw. Once again, sets Ooh. himself up to read those rolls on the ledge. Nah, dude, and he's, he's, he's so, got so much to work with, right? He's got the F tilt, the dash back F tilt, the jab uh, back air, and they all kill. Uh, Puppy not letting it get the best of him and bringing it right on back to the last stock right now. 40% on Puppe. Here's the grab. That could have been a lot of damage. He goes for the mix-up down here. I think that could be a true combo, but it has to be, like, perfect. Perfect. Puppe slowly climbing back here. And you mentioned trying to bait out your opponent for a reading for the roll get up there. We do see some adaptation for Puppet because he started slowly jumping out of the ledge. Alright, Charizard, he has the weight, but he's combo food. Back air, can he get the edge guard? And he dips a little bit low because he knows Goblin has to make that low recovery. Yo, dude, I mean, that, that shout out to Puppet on that one. He, he knew he had to execute at that moment. And, it was he, now or never. and he just now or never, did it. Yeah. He just did it. No hesitation, man. I, I'm sorry. I like paused in the middle of that sentence because I noticed. Is this is the new one. Yes. Damn, you balling. I'm not balling, dude. You got, got the iPhone 11. My, my old phone broke. My Damn. old phone broke. No, 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 no. no. I, had, I, I, I know nothing about it. I used to keep track with all the Apple conferences back in the day, but then. Oh, I remember you told me about it. Yeah, yeah. You, you used to watch them all. I, 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 I used to be a big Apple fan. I still like their products, but. At the moment, I'd rather I just an, I have Android. I had an iPhone 7 for like four years. The last iPhone I had was uh, the 6. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You, you left at a... Yeah. I had 7 for four years, man. Yeah. I was like, you know what? This one broke. It's time to upgrade. All right. So we got game number two. Uh, Puppy coming for the winner side, of course. So if he takes this set, takes the whole thing. Goblin is playing with more momentum and more games coming from the loser side, so he may be a little bit more warmed up. Let's see if we can uh, make that enough energy to get two sets. <laughs> it's not enough energy to avoid that down air, though. Dang, okay. That's what I want to see from Puppe more, right? Set up for that potential edge guard way more. If you can force Roy to recover low, we already saw how he ended the last game with the drop, uh, drop zone back air, Charizard. Yeah, if he could just force that recovery low, he could just get that two-frame every time. Yeah, he's living. Yeah, I have a sword. He doesn't have a lot of weight to him. I'm sorry, he does have some weight to him. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of chunky. Yeah. I have a sword. Stick. Back throw. Oh. <laughs> what is what? Is, what is, no. What like what is a type of sword? Um. It's like a, a rose. A rosebud. What? <laughs> A rosebud? Is that an animal? That's a that plant, right? <laughs> like, it's like a dinosaur. It's like a dinosaur. Right. Rosebud. Oh, I, uh, yeah. Because all, all the fire types, oh. I'm sorry, all the fire types are based on the Chinese zodiac, and then all the grass types are based on uh, dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Oh, okay. And all the water types are based on uh, weapons. That makes way more sense. Okay. Yep. Dinosaur. Now we got la tortuguita. Yep. Trying to stay nimble, small. Yeah, you just reminded me of like walking to Placita Olvera. You buy a little turtle, <laughs> take it home, you're like, damn yeah, man, I got a turtle for a pet. From one of the like carnavales or something yeah, like dude. that. I was so high when you were a kid. You're like, damn, look at me, mom, I got a turtle for a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Buying goldfish low tier, we're gonna talk. Yeah. Right, goldfish low tier pet, I'm sorry. Oh, it's just, uh, straight up. There's somebody, there's somebody watching the stream. You know, I have, I have a tank full of goldfish. I'm sorry, bro. I'll just let you know. Low tier pet. Yeah. All right, so Puppy hitting that up smash right here. I mean, 122% still on his second stock. Punishing the air dodge to the neck? center. 
Yeah, he, he breaks his neck <laughs> trying to do that move. Who? Charizard or Pupe? Dude, Charizard and Pupe are matching. They are. Charizard's neck, though. I think, I think <laughs> we're in miles, man. Gave him neck till Break he passed that out. Neck. Uh. Oh, dang. I just snapped my neck. Trying to recreate Charizard's up air animation. This is the only two characters we're going to see throughout the set. I guarantee it. No secondaries. I mean, I know Goblin was talking about some Toon Link. I, I, I don't know. I didn't you keep that away from me. Yeah. I don't want to see it. I want to see the Roy. That's, you, what, that's all, what you're known for. That's man, what we're going to get. Look, I'm going to say this once and only once. All the Toon Link mains are going to kick rocks. Enjoy, those, enjoy them rocks. Dang, man. I'm not trying to make enemies. I love yeah, all you. Enjoy, let me let me get that matchup practice. To you got you any Toon Links out there, hit me up on Wi-Fi, bro. That's all you Toon Link mains, man. Just stay at the fan art corner, okay? <laughs> cool, man. He's had one good game. All right, game four, though. Puppe one final match from taking this whole set, but Goblin has something to say about it. Taking a really early KO. Yeah, it was really big. Uh, an attempt at a forward smash, I, I like uh -oh. it, but the thing here is I would have loved to see Water Gun just try to push Roy off of the stage the edge guard. Nice, the falling forward air going to connect into that up oh. air. Oh. Alright, down air to him through the platform just to get him off me, man. Nice. Air dodging back to the stage. Finding his back way air. to safety. Oh, is that it? Yep. I think he's gone. Oh no, okay. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get the down air, but. Yeah, he just, yeah. I, I like it. I like that he's just using the up B, especially against Charizard, because it's a big, <laughs> oh, hitbox down air. Smacking him into the ground and up into the sky. No tech from Goblin at that point. That, actually, it might have been techable, so. Yeah. And it was really hard to see the fact that Puppet but actually just got right down there. Yeah. yeah. Puppy's still trailing by a lot right here, 107. Oh, oh Rarback, yeah. Is. I was using maybe Rarback or forward air. Yeah, that was the perfect percent window to do it. Yeah, why not, dude? With these platforms, you can land on the platform, fast fall onto it, safe. Making it even safe. You can even mix it up and like make your opponent think you're gonna land on the platform, but fall through the platform instead. Versatile. I've been having a hard time trying to come back on stage here. It's somebody that Goblin has an edge guarding too. Falling up there, missed opportunity here. Oh, oh so dude. Alright, Pop is opportunity here to strike back. Up air. One more time, he knows the Goblin's looking to come back on either the ledge. And he's there to slowly close the gap. Yep. Oh, oh. When you do have that high percent, yeah. your legend will be until he runs out. Yeah. And that's what I was talking about earlier, right? When he did the get up attack to try to beat it out, and Puppet just held forward smash and got killed for it anyways. And that time, it just hit him on the ledge. Like, that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to get up off of that. Even, oh. it'll catch roll, too. The sour yeah. spot into the sweet spot. I was going to say, look, man, come. Call me something crazy here, but at that percent, at 157, it doesn't matter if you're Charizard or your Ivysaur. I would have preferred to see the Ivysaur. You are going to die to a sweet spot. So just go to Ivysaur, yeah. and then from there, well, the thing is you have to make two switches. Uh, Goblin playing absolutely out of his mind on that game, and, and, and just like that, we have game five on our hands. Re oh, I'm so JV2 sorry. JV2 to end that game. Real quick, quality of life change. Yeah. Because I know, I know the hero debate has been sparked as of this past weekend. Quality of life change. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could actually switch the Pokemon like you do the Monado Arts, like Shulk? You just hold down B, and then you get to chew. You get a little Pokemon wheel. Yeah, just, just, just he might be, he might be broken. Quality of life change. Yeah, I think it's more than a quality of life change at that point. Like kind of big buff, change. pretty big buff. Yeah, it would I know, be a buff. I know. Yeah. Not like crazy, but I would like to see that. Because <laughs> sometimes when you you have to make two changes. Just to go to the Pokemon you want, especially from Charizard of Cybersaur? That's kind of like the, the restriction of the character, I feel like. It, it's different than Monado Arts, right? Where it, it does change your game plan, but it's like with, with Pokemon Trainer, you actually get three different characters. Whereas Shulk is more or less the same in all yeah. of his arts, you know? So he it's just like, changes his properties, yeah. like from like the fastest character to the heaviest character to the floaty. But this is actually like your game, your game, uh, your, your, uh, gameplay, your style, 
Like, what am yeah. I, what's the word I'm looking for? From, changes, from, like, yeah. from like zoning to combo yeah. to, to weight. Yeah, it, it does really matter. You do kind of change up your paradigm as you change Pokemon. It'd be interesting, though. I mean, who knows what would happen if that were the case. Up throw? No, goes for fourth throw. Stage, stage control here in the top of his hands. Okay, nice. Selected landing oh, control. I, I, I see that space back and he just narrowly misses it. Forward throw. throw. Oh, okay. That roll, looking yeah. a little scary here. Yeah, it doesn't pull the trigger. All right, he's not going to die to anything yet. Down air. Yeah, I like the spacing on the forward tail. He does catch the up smash. Goblin trying to cross him up. He's going to end up losing a stock for it, but neutral air just outright killing him off the side. Oh. All right, Puppy's opportunity oh, here. Good. The combos. This is pretty good for him. You're right. Oh, Falling dude. there, and he's almost so close to try to get boy. I'm surprised he didn't go for when he went for the neutral air to drag him down. I'm surprised he didn't go for the uh, down air immediately. I, if he Maybe he didn't have yeah. enough percent. Yeah. Well, he probably just didn't want to go too low, yeah. so he wanted to come back. Out of fear that, you know, Roy might fall out. Oh, Terry carried this man across the stage, man. Okay. Starting to spam this uh, down air. I, Puppe has really good control so far. But uh, Goblin finding his way back in, and the back air confirming into the up special. That's going to be stock number two for Puppe. Yeah. Oh, I'm missing the nair from the down throw. Cross up from the back air. I'm sorry, from the up air. Puppe has to slowly keep this lead here, especially with Ivasaur. We mentioned how like having each Pokemon is changing up your paradigm. He's able to zone here, but so far he's not gaining the space because Goblin makes sure he's close enough to deal the damage. Nice, I like that switch into the Charizard, landing with the neutral air immediately. Very tricky stuff. Puppe going for the back throw to back air, trying to get that early stock. This is of course this is his last stock. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a oh. challenge! What a challenge. Alright, Goblin in dire straits right now. Looking like this Grand Finals is all but in the that's bag that's for he, Puppe. He, he knows the first thing that's going to come out there is an aerial. Back air or up air, especially from Goblin. Or throw. This is quite a big lead Puppe has. At this point, man, I just throw anything at him and hopefully my sneeze kills him. Dang, dude, up throw, man. But really excellent DI from Puppe, too. All right, there's the neutral air. I almost thought that didn't kill. It killed the first time. That's yeah, stock yeah, one, that's neutral air. Stock two, neutral air. 134 here, though, on Goblin. 147 make it. Yep, that's it. it. That's it, man. That's all she wrote. MDBA. Did he jump from the ledge? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And down smash caught that, right? 